So the Warriors, a quick opportunity on the power play. Half a minute gone in the game's first advantage. McDonald, left wing feed now for Chris Duclair, just out of his reach. Around the boards, right wing side. Held on by Lusiak, slides it down low, tipped on stop. Rebound, another save, another chance. Oh, Hedquist, what a stop. Slid across on the right side, the puck still loose. In front, scores! Puts it to the front of the net, stopped by Hedquist. Rebound loose in front. Karan to the goal, stopped as well as the puck's cleared to the corner. What a stop by Hedquist. Back to the midpoint. Norlin a shot blocked in front. They score. Riley Sharoon on the rebound. It's 2 0. Cleared to the midpoint where Trombley has to settle a bouncing biscuit. Across left side, held by Bouillard. Down low it goes. Taken up the left circle there by Alberni. Back to the midpoint. Stopped by Trombley. Scores. Tipped in front, it's Nicholas Benito who tipped it in front of the goal on the shot that originated from the blue line by the attempt by Tremblay from the left point. And the power plays reign supreme today. The Bulldogs getting on the board with the man advantage. It's 2-1, West Kelowna the lead. And it's the Bulldogs who have gotten the game within one. 2-1 our score here from West Kelowna. Zoll out of his net behind the net. Sends it along right wing side, Vasco. Wraps it around the boards, left wing. Crocher there in the left wing point to the net. Tipped on, they score. It's Kersonis in front of the net. Another deflection past the blocker side of Zoll. And just like that was 6.21 to go in the first. This game is tied. It's 2-2. Here and carried ahead by Van Sickle. Van Sickle dumps the puck in all the way down below the goal line. May trying to get to that one into the left wing corner. Battling that three is Duclair up the boards. Francis Getty trying to work it out. Here's a chance in front of the backhand. Scores! Cole Van Sickle right in front. Found a loose puck and he goes from his forehand to his backhand past the glove side of Angelo Zoll. And the Warriors relinquish a two goal lead and it's Alberni Valley who now takes their first lead of the game. 3-2 Bulldogs by Hedquist and brought the other way here by Alberni Valley. McIntosh gets around to the defense, cuts it alone. What a stop by Zoll. The rebound is pushed to the front of the net and McIntosh is going to be called for a penalty as he goes careening into the board, he goes careening into the goaltender and knocks the Zoll down. Victoria ahead for Van Hukachero down the left wing side, stopping up there in the left wing corner, dropped it off for Duclair, just behind him and the Bulldogs come the other way. Oh, with that is Raul Bouillard got around a check. Right circle, back door. Oh, what a stop by Angelo Zoll. He slid across on the blocker side and made a phenomenal stop on Nicholas Benito. And a penalty upcoming here. There's two arms in the air. Reeves at the right point makes his way to the left side. There goes Zoll to the bench. Reeves left circle to the net. Off the body and wide of the goal. Puck is loose in the circle. Moriello with a stick tied into a player. No call on the play. Comes back around right side. Emanuelson Charbonneau out to center. And it's Dakota McIntosh who will find the empty goal and fires it into the back of the empty cage with 1.40 to go here in the third period. McIntosh able to fire it in. His fourth goal in as many nights in the last two nights, and it's a 4-2 Alberni Valley lead. Side will skate out and across the blue line into the high slot. Reeves run into there by Vasco. Puck comes free and back the other way come the Bulldogs. It is Bouillard to the middle. Benito to the net. Stopped by Zoll. Three seconds to go in the third. Puck is held up on the right side, and that'll sound the buzzer on this one. It's the Alberni Valley Bulldogs who come through with a 4-2 victory over the West Kelowna Warriors here tonight. And you'll see at the end of this game, the Warriors gassed on the bench right now. This is a team that gave it their all here tonight, yeah. but with only five defenders and 11 regular forwards in the lineup. It's a tall task to ask for this group.